Now I've heard this question asked quite recently and that's whether there is a direct correlation between AdWords pricing and the difficulty ranking for that keyword. Now, there does seem to be some kind of correlation, yes. However, sometimes you find some of the highest cost AdWords campaigns, you know, some of the highest value keywords are sometimes not that profitable. We see this more if it's quite a broad keyword phrase. Um, search intent is the key to being more efficient with your keyword targeting, whether it's for SEO or pay-per-click purposes. Broad keyword targeting is going to be more expensive, often because everybody and their grandmother is bidding on it, and therefore that is pushing the price up. You know, it's just a. As we all know, we often place more value on something just because it's priced higher, right? You know, it's. Uh, I think it's more of a supply and demand and competition thing. So, i.e., there's so many attorneys who make a lot of cash. They are continually looking for more ways to market. More of them are now tuned into online marketing, so more of them are going to be bidding on AdWords. And then it follows that since they're all bidding and competing, the price goes up. If somebody had a law firm in the 90s, the price would have been probably dot cheap in comparison to the prices now. So this is why if you're doing pay-per-click, it's not just a simple case of looking at the obvious keywords, you know, the obvious primary keywords, and trying to rank for those. Ranking for those keywords may not yield the best results in terms of sales, although it could be good for brand awareness. You know, ranking for longer tail keywords, which take search or intent into account, is the key to driving uh, extremely relevant targeted traffic. For instance, ranking for divorce solicitors London fixed fee rather than just divorce solicitors London. So yes, in that example, the search volume would be less, but I would wager a bet that the conversion rate will be higher on the first keyword. So it's not just a case of going for the harder keywords. Sometimes keywords which are low ha lower hanging fruit, you know, the not so obvious ones could be the key to driving the kind of traffic you do want. And with time, you'll rank for countless keywords like these. And with more time, you know, the broad match keywords will follow as well. So guys, hope that answered that query. And, and obviously, if you have any thoughts, we'd love to hear them.